build you a media grid, but what I think I want you to take home today, that you need a grid is an add-on. And the whole idea is if you have an add-on like Transportation Manager or anything like that that works in GeoMedia today, it should just work right in GeoMedia 3D. As long as you're not doing something really funky, it should just work out of the box. And I wanted to demonstrate that and I thought I would demonstrate it using GeoMedia Grid. And in this particular instance, uh, we were kind of trying to think of what we should do and Danny and I were just kind of bouncing it back and forth and we talked about, well, what happened if uh, an incident occurred at this location and we wanted to basically get an idea of what the user could see from that area. And what we did is that we placed the person on top of that building, and I'm going from anywhere in that building, I'm looking around. So it's not just from one location, it's from every single location on that building top. So what we'll do is I'll just cut this up so you can see how the integration works. So you'll notice in this particular case, I've got grid lurking up at the top there. We've got this event location in the middle. Oh, and I remember this one now when I was... Uh, when I was uh, filming it, I forgot. I'm like, oh, I'm filming this. I should be doing something. So, now, there we go. So, we've got the event location here. Here's grid. So, we have grid that's going to run, and we're actually going to run a view shed analysis, and I'm going to run it from that incident location, event location. I'm going to use my buildings as my surface, because remember, they have attribution that gives them the height. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, look up 300 meters everywhere around from the top of that building. And I'm also going to say the guy's nine feet tall, maybe a little bit too tall, but three meters, could be two and a half meters, something like that. And simply call it field of view. So it just happens so that when I have placed that raster, because in this case it's GeoMedia Grids placing a raster in there, we now have a gradation of colors showing which area is at risk. The lower the number means the lower number of areas from the top of that building that can be seen. So from zero to nine means that if I'm in that area, there's up to nine locations where I can see you, all the way up to as many as 85 locations, which is every location on that building top. Okay? So I'm just going to pop it down to the bottom, and then we're going to toggle to 3D. Now you notice I'm always going from 2D to 3D. Basically, I could have done this all in 3D as well. I don't have to do that toggling anymore. We can actually go ahead and use it. So now what I did is I then took and I extruded all the buildings. I used attributes to basically just go ahead on the lower buildings I used a different image on those and the higher buildings I used a different image but you can effectively see now how that view shed analysis is really playing through it's coming straight down this area going around the buildings that kind of thing but the key to take away here is not the fact that I'm running GeoMedia Grid here the key to take away is, is that I'm running actually an add-on application right inside of GeoMedia 3D itself okay so that's kind of it in a nutshell